Kelly here from Repurpose My Way. Um, welcome back. I have got a couple of projects here that I want to work on, uh, stuff that I've had kicking around for a while. Um, so first thing, they're cheese cloches, basically is what they are. This is comes like this, the wooden tray. This one has feet. I didn't realize it did. I got thinking, I want to do those cloches. And I thought, well, maybe the first thing I can do is put feet on them. Uh, and then when I got it out and cleaned it up, I went, oh, look, it already has feet. So um, can't put feet on it, but I can brighten it up a little bit. It's kind of dark uh, stained wood. So uh, thinking I may paint it and then maybe distress it a little bit and just kind of brighten it up a little. Um, so that was one cloche. This one is, I bought just this. Oh, by the way, this was $3 for the set. The tag was still on it when I, um, when I took it out. I was like, oh good, that's still on there. I think it was Goodwill, Goodwill tag. So it was $3, I may have done half. I try to buy the halvesy stuff, but sometimes I just see things and I gotta have it. $3 isn't bad for that, um, for a cloche and, and especially for the wood bottom. That's really good. Uh, this is just the top, and I don't know where it came from. Um, it didn't have a bottom with it, so uh, I don't know if I bought it, if I found it. Um, somebody gave it to me. I don't know. I've had this quite a while. But anyway, I have this, and I was going through my stuff, and I said, well, what can I do with this that um, can dress it up a little bit and give it a bottom. Well, I have some of these um, uh, Prolon, it says, these plastic, I don't, I can't think of the name of what they are, um, but they're the plastic wear. Um, and I picked up a bunch of these. I think I got them at the local free shack at the dump. Uh, there was a stack of them there and I took a bunch of them and I've, I've done a bunch of them over uh, and I've got a couple left and I said oh that looks about the right size so I dug it out and I put it on and it fits just just about perfect in where that little lip is um, on there so I was really excited I was like oh that will fit good and it gives it a nice lip and it's really nice and I said well I don't want it on the ground or on the floor uh, and I don't want it on the counter. <laughs> there we go. Um, and so I got looking around and I found this candle holder. Again, don't know where I got this. I don't think I would have bought this. Um, it must have come either given to me or I got it for free and thought it looked pretty neat and I could paint it up and do something with it. Um, it's not really my style. It's definitely not my color. But that doesn't always stop me. Sometimes I can just turn around and repaint it. It's not a big deal. So I thought, well, I could take this and put it on top. And so I did that. It's got a little bit of a wobble to it. So even if I glue it down, it'll stick one way or the other. So it should be okay. But I thought, well, what if I flip it over and do the fatter bottom on the bottom to give it a little bit more sturdiness and stuff and it's still a little wobbly but the top sits sits flatter but it's still wobbly and I'm not really sure uh, I'm thinking it's because it's raised raised edge um, but anyway I really like that I thought that looked really cute like that and I like the fat bottom on it um, and so I thought I would glue it down to my E6000 and then give it a um, a paint job. I'm not sure. I still haven't decided if I'm going to spray paint it all like a, a black and then paint it white and bring the black back through maybe. That might be what I do or I may just spray it white or paint it white with chalk paint. I'm just still not sure. Um, a lot of times I start these and I have a little bit of an idea of what I want to do. Um, but my brain clicks into different gear sometimes and I go, oh, you know what I could do? So um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. <laughs> Thought I knew what I was gonna do. It's going in a different direction possibly, uh, but I definitely know that I wanna get this glued down and painted and then the bottom of this one painted and then um, 
We'll see how they come out. Okay, so as you saw, I glued down with my E6000 and a little bit of hot glue the base of the other stand. And then uh, I painted with my Waverly White chalk paint both of the plates or the stands for the cloches. And I just decided to do white on this one. I'm just going to do a few coats of white and see if it'll cover. Um, so I ended up doing two and a half coats on both of those. Um, I did two full coats and then I just did touch-ups uh, for the rest. And here I am sanding down the wood one so that it would get a little bit of a distress on it and bring back some of that darker wood that was underneath. Okay, so now I'm using my Waverly Clear Wax and I'm going to clear wax um, both of the trays uh, all over so that it just makes it a little easier for cleanup um, if you have them in a kitchen or somewhere where they're going to get dusty you can dust them off a lot easier that way than trying to clean them off the chalk paint. Okay guys, we're getting down to the end of it. I've waxed it all and then I had to let it dry for about um, an hour. I put the dryer on it to dry it a little quicker so that I could hurry it up and get this done because I was as excited to see it finished. And here it is. So cute. I love it. Hope you guys love it too. Like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you love it or not. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.